Good morning, Porter County Career Center. Today is Friday, May 3rd. I'm your host, Zach McGuire, and this is PCTV News. To start off, let's look at some local news. If you are 18 or older and live in Porter County, you should remember to register and vote for the primary elections, which take place on Tuesday, May 7th. In Valpo, John Casas, who has been the mayor since 2004, is not running again. The Republican Party is being represented by Matt Murphy. The Democratic Party is between Bill Durnell and P Deb Porter. It will be a close race this year. Two weeks ago, some of our fellow Career Center students participated in the State Skills Competition in Indianapolis. Congratulations to James Churchill of the Auto Class from Washington Township, who has entered into the Auto Service Technology Division. Also, congratulations to Pete Stocker and Max Bailey of Cadden Animation from Valparaiso, who were entered into the 3D Visualization and Animation Division. They all took first place in their divisions and are now eligible to compete at the national level. We're happy to announce that Max Bailey also went to Indianapolis again on Friday, April 26th, as well as some of other Porter County Career Center students, to, Indi to the Indiana High School Architecture Competition. Max Bailey from Valpo High School won the Award of Excellence, which includes $500, a trophy, and a scholarship to architecture camp. Eric Laus from Chesterton High School, as well as Reed Smith from Valpo High School, both won the Award of Honor and were each presented with $250 and a certificate. Congratulations, guys. Spring is in the air in Valpo as students show their talents in the Spring into the Arts Festival, which includes the VHS Drama Club Variety Show, April Antics, and the Honors Art Show. Career Center student Crisos Pulos and his band wowed the audience with their opening performance during April Antics. Both show the hard work and passion that students have for what they love. Here's a look at some of the IB students that are also Career Center students. I'm Abby Pruitt. I'm in the IB Honors Art class at Valpo High School. I've been creating art since probably, uh, I don't know, just elementary school. I've always like colored and drawn since I was a kid. I think that I've definitely gotten better with uh, art, like with photorealistic art. And also I did get into the college I wanted to go to for art, so that's awesome. Definitely an achievement. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Krabazuski and I'm in IB Visual Arts um, at Valparaiso High School. The art show has been a staple in AP and IB art for a very long time and it is a big part of the program and it's so much fun. We spend the whole year planning for it and it's just so much fun just to build the booths and set up your artwork and just the anticipation is just, it's awesome. It's so satisfying to see your work and have everyone look at it and critique and just admire your artwork for and all the hard work we have done. Students interviewed the newest automotive teacher. Here is what Mr. Furry has to say. My name is Mark Furry. I am the first year automotive technology instructor. This is my first year teaching here at the Career Center. I got into automotive at a very young age. I've always been thrilled to take stuff apart, figure out how it works, and put it back together. And it is just it just snowballed and, and grew from there. My experience working with teens who have not worked on cars before has been very challenging and very fun at the same time. To watch them not know anything and for me to instruct them and show them how this works and how this goes together and to watch them learn, it's, it's just, it's a very rewarding experience. My feelings about the school year coming to a close is actually sad. I mean, it is a great time for them. They're happy to be on summer break, but it's sad for me to watch them go because I have de developed such a deep bond with all my students. I, I will miss them. Some of the achievements my students have had this year, the most memorable one is, unfortunately, the school year prior did a very poor job of uh, engine disassembly and reassembly last year, and none of them worked. And this year, I taught my students all the proper techniques and proper ways, and we disassembled them, reassembled them, and all the engines worked upon completion. It was a very proud moment for all of us. 
please reach out to the Career Center for those who are thinking about coming here. There is a lot of classes, they have a lot of information, a lot of things to learn here. We have a lot of fun, so please look into us and sign up. Recently, here at the Career Center, we grabbed some students from different classes to participate in a donut guessing game. Here's how it went down. Uh, I'm Carson Morgan from Video Production. I'm Jason Gladney, also from Video Production. My name's Jaskolski, and I'm in the automotive class. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Justin Morales, I'm from the auto class. I'm Max Arnett from uh, the business and marketing class. I'm Alicia. I'm from the same class as him, Sports Entertainment Marketing. All right, we guess. Yeah. All right, this is uh, Krispy Kreme. That was my guess. Oh. See, I know what's up. Family Express. Duncan. How? <laughs> <laughs> Is this Dunkin' Donuts? Dunkin' Donuts. I touched the dry frosting and I was like, this has to be good. Yeah, I don't want to family express. Yeah, I'm gonna go family express. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> you got every single one right, we decided to throw you off. <laughs> I mean, but having it in my mouth, I like had the expectation it was gonna be right in the middle, but. No, you got trick You tricked me. You got, you got let, let's give them actual life. Right <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's the best one. Pretty much your sister's one. Mm. Yeah, it worked out really well. Thanks for the chat. You can take your blindfolds off now. Back to you, Zach. Okay, okay. Back to you, Zach. Late last week, some of our students took a poll about where to get the best donuts, and the results are in. Dunkin' Donuts won with a staggering 44.7, Krispy Kreme came in second with 21.4, Rise and Roll came in third with 14.6% of the vote, and Family Express, 8.7%, Heinz Bakery, 5.8%, another came in last with 4.9%. Today is the Porter County Career Center's fourth blood drive this year. We have Todd Madison on scene to give us a look at what's going on. Thanks, Zach. I'm here with Ms. Phelps, one of the health occupational teachers, and today we're going to discuss the blood drive. So, Ms. Phelps, why is donating blood so important? Because uh, there's nothing like human blood, and we have to get it from donors, like students and staff, and then every donation saves up to three lives. All right. And so, how long has the Red Cross been coming to the Career Center? Uh, they've been coming to the Career Center about 20 years, so we have four blood drives a year. All right, and do you have any advice for anybody that want to donate blood but maybe too scared to? Uh, sure, uh, it's important to prepare to donate blood, so make sure you're drinking plenty of water the week up to your donation. Mm -hmm. uh, have a good breakfast that morning, and other than that, it's pretty easy. All right, and what does, oh, you already said that. Um, what does, how, what's how long, no. So what's the relationship between the Career Center and the Red Cross? Can you explain that to me? Uh, sure, the Red Cross has been coming here for over 20 years to um, help our students and staff donate blood very easily. They can get out of class, which is good for the students, uh, and it uh, really helps the community. All right, thank you. All right, that's all the questions I have for you today. Now back to Zach in the studio. Avengers Endgame just dropped this weekend, and it took the world by storm. We had our movie buff, Jack Wilburn, give his personal review on it. Don't worry, there aren't any spoilers. Endgame came out recently, and it's no surprise that Endgame broke the box office opening weekend debut, 
with a staggering $1.2 billion. This of course was always going to happen with all the hype and support from so many fans. But this review will be from somebody who doesn't like many Marvel movies. In other words, this review is as unbiased as possible, since I'm not a fan. I've seen mostly all of the Marvel movies, with most disappointing me. However, this film is easily my favorite Marvel film, and a movie I'm proud to say is a great film. I won't get into spoiler territory at all, I'll just stay as vague as possible and just give my broad opinion on the film. However, I do have some grievances with this film. It's not a perfect film by any means, but first I will talk about the positives, and there are a lot. One thing that sets this movie apart is how uniquely the story is told compared to most superhero movies. Most people know that I am not the biggest superhero movie fan, and I think most Marvel movies are underwhelming. But this story is told in such a bold and unique way, unlike the other films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. To avoid spoilers, I will refrain from saying what exactly makes it unique in terms of the story. However, it is a well-made film in terms of its story, and for the most part, it's a well-paced film, even for a long running time. Endgame is 3 hours and 2 minutes long, and even with that long running time, it stays consistently engaging and entertaining. Next thing I want to mention is the action scenes, which are quite spectacular to watch. Action scenes don't really affect me since I've seen so many, but this one packed a very unique punch. This film also has fantastic music, not just its score, but the classic rocks and jazz tracks that play throughout the film. And lastly, the biggest highlight from this film was its very final scene. It was so moving and powerful, as well as the song choice for the final scene was quite unexpected and impressive. Now to the negatives. I thought the script was really poorly made, the character dialogue was stale, and the comedy, at least for me, did not land. Marvel movies usually are funnier than this one. Of course Endgame is a more serious film, but why then pack so many stale jokes? All in all, I think that Endgame is a solid B+, and worthy of anybody's time. The wet weather continues to fall in Valpo, so be prepared to bring your umbrellas outside. Let's go to Nikki Key, who has our weather forecast for the upcoming week. Hello everybody, today is Friday, May 3rd, 2019. Today's weather has a high of 58 degrees and a low of 42. We've had some AM drizzles coming in, and tonight is basically going to be cloudy but dry, and with a gust up to 16 miles per hour, and our weekly weather forecast. Saturday and Sunday are going to be dry, but they are going to be cloudy and very overcast. Monday through Wednesday, we're going to have showers, so be prepared for that. Thursday is going to be dry, but overcasted. And Friday is also going to be showers. So it's pretty much a nasty week with temperatures to the high 60s and low 50s. And that's pretty much it. So back to you. That's all we have for the news this morning. I'm Zach McGuire, and have a great weekend.